Hi guys, it's Emily and today I'm going to be filming a sort of five editing tips that I really like to use. The mainly apps, what I'm showing you today, basically are apps and they for the iPhone, both they might be available on Android or Windows or whatever other types there are, but it's just because I have an iPhone and that is what I use. I'm going to be doing mainly, I think actually they're all uh, like photo editing apps because I got a lot of suggestions about how to edit on a phone and I found some really good different things, some I used, some I just found, so I thought I would show you them. Also apologies if you hear the budgie because he's making a right racket as he's playing with his toys and also these are fake glasses, just sort of thought they looked cool with like my retro Shaun of the Dead shirt, so we're wearing that today. First one I'm going to be showing you is something that I've used, well showed you guys uh, in the last five editing apps video but it's called Snug. I'm showing you it again for any new viewers because these are, because I'm going to put in the title like photo editing so someone will be like oh I haven't seen this one and watch it but yes we have seen this one before. Basically let's see if I can focus it on here, I really hope I can, I'll stand up and show you actually if we like. As you can see, it's called Snug, and you just click on Load Feed once you've put in your details. Can I click on Load Feed? And this is what will it will look like with all your feed. And basically, let me just delete that so I can show you. But this is my Instagram feed, and then you press Add, and you'll have all your photos on your camera roll. Say I want to add this one to it. Um, I'll press select and it will show me what it will look like on my feed. This is perfect for anyone that has a feed and wants to keep it like that because it actually shows you what it would look like uploaded without actually uploading it to Instagram. Brilliant, my all time favourite thing and I do believe that you have to pay for it but it shouldn't be that expensive. I think it's no more than a pound or like a dollar or whatever you call it um, but it's only like 69 pence or something like that but yes brilliant app love it the next app which i'm going to be showing you is called v vsco i use this for editing my photos on instagram because they have some really cool filters and i just think they're really pretty the app also lets you do like what instagram does with levels and brightness contrast crop stuff like that but it's just a really cool little editing thing i don't know if it's free um i know you have to pay for the filters but I'm not sure if the app in general is actually free. This is VS VSCO and I love it so much. I edit all my Instagram photos with it, just with a really easy filter, but you get really cool things. As you can see, they keep your photos on it here and they just show you what you've edited. But if you go add, and then it'll begin to open up your camera roll anytime today, and then um, so I want this one, let's pretend, and click on tick, you get the photo here and it will just begin to load. Then have it here on your little preview screen and then you can click on the edit button here. And you get all these different filters, some I have paid for but some are free. And I usually use the P5 because it makes my hair look even bluer and I love it. But then you can also click on the little arrow down here and then click on these levels features and you can control the contrast and stuff like that and just loads of other things. Really good little editor if you want to start making a theme or something, really easy to use. The next thing I'm gonna be showing you is this really weird app and I don't know what it does. I only just downloaded it and found out how cool it is, but it's called SCN and it creates like a digital pixelated effect to your pictures by just simply moving it around. But it's really odd and it was free, so who's complaining? This is the sort of opening to the SCN. Is that what it's called? I just completely forgot. Yep, SCN. And basically what you do is click on either take a photo or choose a photo. So say you select choose, it will come up with your camera roll here. Then I click camera roll and say I just want this selfie randomly doing. It'll look like that. And then press the SCN button and it's really difficult to move but you have to move the picture as you can see this you get this really weird effect to it you can move it loads of times and stuff 
but I just think it's so cool how it can look like this. Um, if this is like the type of edit you're into, then you can get some really cool effects. Just move it ever so slightly and you can get a really cool 3D one. I'm going to try and see if I can do that. Hopefully. So scan, move it along a bit, and then just leave it. And then you get this really cool 3D effect that is pretty cool in my opinion. Even though I just say cool 50 times, but yeah, pretty cool. The next one is called Colour Viewfinder. I love this so much, simply because I've noticed a lot of people doing edits on where they have a picture and then they select certain like colours from the picture and place them on the screen. And this is a really simple way to do it. It's free, easy to use, and it's just really pretty. And it's perfect for anyone who does like Harry Styles or Dan and Phil pictures because you can easily select a new theme from this but it does come with a logo type of thing on it so if you don't want the logo then I think you do have to purchase it but I can't imagine it being that expensive. It begins like this and you click on either take a photo or choose from gallery say I want to choose from gallery then you click on camera roll find a picture let's scroll down a bit what do I have? Got Harry Styles here, so we'll have Harry. It makes you crop it to a square, which is a pain, but oh well. You can't be perfect with everything. And then it finds all the colours that are involved, and you, they appear along the bottom here. So say I want that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Just to show you, it all appears along the top, and then you can press on these buttons and move them all around. And then on watermark, it says here, um supported and you won't get a watermark over it but unfortunately you will if you don't pay for it like i haven't paid for it but it is a really cute little editing thing that i found and i hope it comes in handy for you guys the next app is called error and it is again a really weird app it has like very grunge stickers on it and loads of different ways to do stickers with text and just stuff like that, it's really cool. Um, it is based on sort of grunge edits and just really trippy edits. So if that's what you're into, then this is the perfect software for you. This one is Error. It's actually got a really cool opening to it, but then you choose a photo and say you want camera roll, find a photo that you want. Let's do Simon Pegg. Make sure you crop it to a square again. So press choose. And then you get these really cool stickers. So you can be like, I want a smiley face there. Then done. And then you can get text. And if you double click on it, you can type in what you want. Like so. And then be like, done. Where's the done button? I swear to God, done. Like that. And then next. And then it has all these really cool filters on it. So there's loads of grunge edits, like one, they're just so cool. And then next again, and then you can drag, rotate, zoom, and get like different backgrounds, and turn it, and just really cool stuff like that. And then done, and you can just save it to your camera roll and have a super cool looking grunge edit. Unfortunately, that is it for the editing videos, both, well, apps, but I do hope you enjoyed them and I hope they helped somebody. If you have any requests, for example, fonts or where to find overlays or good Instagram account channels and stuff like that, that didn't make sense. But please let me know and I will try my best to find out what I can find for you. Thank you so much to everyone that subscribed. We're so close to 9,000 and it just really means a lot to me. So thank you very much, guys. Love you lots. Bye.